Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to be working with our 98 Toyota Camry. We're going to show you how to remove and replace your ignition coil. This is going to be the same front and rear, it's just a matter of where the bolts are. What your ignition coil does is ramps up the power from your vehicle to make sure that you get a nice strong spark inside of the combustion chamber and properly light off that air fuel mixture to keep your vehicle running smooth. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this car as well as many other makes and models. And if you want this part for your vehicle, follow the link in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Open the hood and secure the hood prop. Your ignition coil packs are located here on the passenger side of the engine. Each coil pack is responsible for firing two cylinders. The first one we have one and four. The second we have two and three. Removal is fairly similar for both. We'll lift up and remove the spark plug wires from each coil. Hang them off to the side. Disconnect the electrical connector. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we'll remove the two 10 millimeter bolts on the ignition coil. Usually once you get them cracked loose, you can just remove them by hand. Once you've loosened up the bolt a little bit, you should be able to turn the coil down and out of the way. This will give you a little more room to get in there and work. Again, once it's cracked loose, you should be able to remove the bolt the rest of the way by hand. Remove the coil from the vehicle. Here we have our old part that we removed from our vehicle and our new part from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, these parts are identical with the same four pin connector, same two posts for the ignition coil wires, same two posts for the spark plug wires, See our factory one is labeled 1-4, whereas our new one is universal as these are the same both front and rear aside from the designations. So our new one comes marked 1-4 up top and 3-2 down below. So no matter which side you put it on, you know which coil wire is going to go on here. We have the same two bolt connector on the back, the same coil inside here. What your ignition coil does what your coil pack does is ramps up the power going through your vehicle from the alternator once the vehicle is running. It makes it strong enough that it can fire off your spark plugs and light the air fuel mixture inside of your combustion chamber. A weak or failed ignition coil will cause a check engine light or if it's severe enough a flashing check engine light which means you need to shut the vehicle down immediately as that is a type A misfire and detrimental to your vehicle. They can also cause a slight hesitation or skip when they first begin to fail. Go on to cause those check engine lights and noticeable misfires as they get worse and worse. So if you need a new ignition coil for these symptoms, this part from 1A Auto is going to go in direct fit just like your original equipment and fix you up right. Our secondary ignition coil here for cylinders 2 and 3 is in good condition aside from being a little dirty there from a leaky valve cover. This is removed the same way that the front one is. We'll remove the two coil wires on the top, the connector at the bottom, and the two 10 millimeter bolts actually have to be reached from the back side here. Start the bolt into the bottom of the ignition coil. Bring it down and into place. You actually want to leave this hanging off to the side a bit when you first start the bolt just to give you some room to work in there. Once we get it down so we're within a turn or two of being tight, we'll go ahead and get the wrench on there and finish tightening it up. Slide the coil back up into place and reinstall the top bolt. Reconnect the electrical connector at the bottom. Reconnect the wire for number four to the rear, number one in the front.
Reconnect the wire retainers if your vehicle has them. Fire up your vehicle and make sure it idles smoothly and you're good to go. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.